What's up, Sean Fagan here from Muay Thai Guy along with Cassie here at Team DMT in Thailand. And we're gonna go over some of my favorite kicking drills that I like to use uh, with a partner to improve my speed, balance, technique, and all that good stuff. So make sure you stay tuned to find out how. All right, let's get into drill number one, which is the balance and hip thrust drill. And I love this drill because it's simple, but it's really effective. Because as you can see, Cassie's pushing me all over the ring. I have to stay nice, balanced, and control. And once she stops, I turn over my hip just like I'm throwing a kick. So this way I can get that motion down, which is super important. That last motion where you thrust your hip, that's where all the power in your kick is going to come from. Or not all the power, but most of the power. So here is Cassie doing it as well, bouncing on her post foot and then driving through with that hip once I stop moving. Drill number two is pretty self-explanatory. We're just throwing kicks back and forth to each other. This is a great warm-up drill and just to get the hips and the body loose and to work on just your balance, technique, and fluidity. And so this is good if you're with a controlled partner. Obviously, you're not trying to slam these kicks into each other. Drill number three is a check and return drill. So right now I'm attacking Cassie's legs or body and all she's doing is checking and returning. And you see sometimes she'll return with the same side leg or other times she'll return with the opposite side leg. So this is a great way to just get used to countering or checking and countering. And if you're liking these drills, make sure you subscribe because like I said, we're always coming out with new stuff to add to your Muay Thai game. So make sure you click that subscribe button. But uh, yeah, just make sure you have really good technique. You're focusing on form and you're also nice and controlled. Control and balance are everything. Next is the catch and return drill. So there's a bunch of different varieties that you can catch kicks and return kicks, but in this drill specifically, we're always returning with the kicks so this way your partner can catch and return as well. And so you'll see sometimes we'll return with the same side, sometimes we'll switch it up, sometimes we'll mess up just like you saw there. But the whole key is just to get used to catching kicks, dropping it down and returning because the name of the game in Muay Thai is if you get kicked or hit, you gotta return back as fast as possible. And last but not least is the check and teep drill. So we'll go one for one. One of us will check and then we'll return with a teep because oftentimes people will follow up with secondary strikes. And so they'll kick twice or they'll kick and then come in with punches. So if you're getting used to the muscle memory of teeping after you check a kick, it's a great way to avoid additional counts. Thank you so much for watching these drills and hopefully you'll be able to implement them into your game at some time soon. And if you do, make sure you comment below and let me know what you think of them because I always love the feedback. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe so this way you don't miss any of the new videos I have coming out. And if you want more Muay Thai, then follow and watch this video next too.